Hi everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and thank you so much for joining me today on my Fluid Art channel. Today is a Dutch pour. It is a true Dutch pour and I love it. I use two colors, Payne's Gray, and that's kind of like a dark, dark, dark blue and it looks a little bluish anyway, and then white. Then I added silver and some black and some uh, darker gray, and this was the result. I absolutely love it. Here's one of them. It's a triptych. So here's one. Uh, and I didn't think I was gonna like the black. I really like the black in it. It adds a depth to it. Um, that it wouldn't have without it um, because I did try to do one of these I didn't like so I redid it again and I did it without black and I didn't like it so I really like it so here's another one and then here is the last one so as you can see they're all slightly different but they're really really cool I really really like this one a lot I like the simplicity of it and the beauty that the Dutch pour um, creates. All it is is water and paint, no other medium, no other types of silicone or cell activator, just water and paint, just like Renska does. Let's get you down on the canvas and let me show you how I did this. And these are inspired by Renska. So I have her link down below. Please check out her videos if you haven't already, which I'm sure you most of you have already seen them. But anyway, let's get you down the canvases and let me show you how I made this triptych. All right, bye for now. Bye. Okay, hi everyone. So today I am going to be doing a triptych and it is inspired by Renska. So I will have her link down below along with a number of other artists that inspire me, but this one is uh, definitely inspired by her. It is going to be a triptych Dutch pour um, where we're gonna cut it in the middle. Half of it's gonna be Payne's gray, half of it's gonna be white on each one of these. And then I'm gonna use a variation of black, white, and silver. So today's painting, I'm gonna have um, the white that I'll be using is the um, Amsterdam acrylic white. And all of this paint is three parts paint to two parts water. And then I will be using uh, some, no, I'm not using that. <laughs> That's too funny. And I will be using also with in the Dutch pour Arteza's uh, titanium white, uh, Arteza's silver, Arteza's pearl uh, space gray, and then um, Master Touch uh, Payne's gray, and then Master's Touch permanent black. So those are the colors that I'll be utilizing today. I've already got the canvases ready, and I just put push pins in on the back side, and I showed you that in the video but I'll put that at the end of the video so that you can see how I do that. I don't put tape on all my canvases on the back side um, and I didn't on these ones. So so again uh, mostly paints gray and white and then some silvers black and uh, white as well. So mixed in with this. These canvases are gallery wrapped um, artist loft 12 by 24 inch or if you use centimeters it's 30.4 centimeters times 30 uh, or by 60.9 centimeters and I've got three of these so the first thing I want to do and let me get this paints off here is I want to make sure that I'm exactly in the middle uh, on these ones that I want to do half and half I really want to make sure that they line up nicely together so as I stated these are 24 inches which means 12 inches is exactly in the middle. So what I'm gonna do on each one of these is I am gonna mark 12 inches. So, and then I'll do a straight line across. And that way I'm ensuring myself that I'm going to have a fairly straight line. And although it's a Dutch pour and I'll be blending a lot of colors, I still want them to have half of it white and half of it Payne's gray. So I've got that and the next thing I need is a straight edge, which I have forgotten to have out. So let me go find one. So next you need is a straight edge and then I just line up my uh, 
couple of marks that I've made and I'm just going to take my pencil and go straight across. So that way, all right, I gotta move this over. Line that up, hold it, mark straight across, line it up, and straight across. Okay, so they're ready to go now. And each one of them, I'll do a Payne's Gray and a white, a Payne's Gray and a white, Payne's Gray and a white, but then I'll end up probably flipping the middle one and the outsides ones will be the same. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got the paints all ready to go and I'm just gonna do one at a time. So I'm gonna put the two canvases off to the side. And let me talk to you about a trick. So when you're putting your canvases off to the side, don't put your canvases like this. Don't, don't do that because you're gonna stretch, sorry, you can't see. You're gonna stretch your canvas by putting these on your canvases. So back to back like that, okay? So when you put them off to the side. Just a little tip for you. And I'm going to turn this this way, making sure that we're in the center there for you. And I'll go get my paints and then we'll be back. Okay, so here's my paints for multiple uh, projects today. I've got two projects that I've already prepared for. Uh, one with the paints that we're doing for, with these stretch pour and then one for later on. And so uh, this is just a little trick I do. Um, since I'm using just water and paint, it adds a lot of bubbles when you mix it, so I just let it sit while I prepare other paints as well. So uh, just a little trick, I just use a little Tupperware thing, um, not Tupperware, it's not Tupperware, plastic container of some type um, that you can get anywhere at Walmart or Target or um, Lowe's or Home Depot. So anyway, uh, that's what I do and it works really well for me. So let me get the paints out that we're using today. So we're gonna be using Payne's Gray and White. And then, of course, we're gonna be using the Pearl Space Gray, the Arteza Silver, uh, the Arteza Titanium White, and then the um, <clears throat> Master Touch Permanent Black. So I'm gonna get this stuff off to the side so that I can use them for later. And then let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour on our Payne's Gray. And this Payne's Gray is a um, three parts paint to two parts water. Okay, let me get my sides here, my corners. So I got a lot of air bubbles in it, so I'll pop it with my um, torch here in just a moment. I'm gonna do this. And this is the um, our, uh, Amsterdam white. I use Amsterdam as much as I can in uh, Dutch pours because it just works so great with cells. So, um, oops, and you are like, hold on. I'm gonna bring you in a little closer to that. There we go, that's a little better. All right, so now let's get my sides for my white. I think I got all my corners. Just make sure here. Okay. Go ahead and torch this. Looks like I might have something right here I need to get out. Okay, let me find my tweezers here. Go. Must be a little bit of dry. 
dried paint. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get a little closer here. That'll be my flooding paint too as well. So. Just checking my sides here. Oh, yep, I missed this right here. Okay. All right, are we ready? So, let's get the bubbles out of this. Let's start with a little bit of silver. A little bit of black. A little bit of the Mars or the uh, Pearl Space Gray. white and I want to come back with silver on top okay now let's go ahead and put some more of the white on this side some more of the gray Haynes gray on this side and then let's flood it now here, you just gotta be careful not to do too much, right? So it's it's kind of a little bit of a knack, so just be really careful. Low heat, or no heat, and low, over. So I just want to soften a little bit of the edges here. Let's go ahead and torch.
I think I have to stop because I'm doing too much now um, again. So, um, so this is number one. I'm trying to get some off the side there. All right, I think I'm done. So, I will start the next one. And I'll set this one to dry. All right, bye for now. Okay, so here's number two. Let's get that one going. Let's do the white first this time. That way I don't accidentally put black on my hands.
All right, let's see what we can do here. I think I did too much through here, so I might, I might scrape that and redo this area here. doing well at all so uh, I have to scrape it it's just not going good too much black I think and I've uh, done it too much so I'm just gonna take this whole section off I know it I, I will scrape that paint I will actually um, make that paint into what I call um, uh, leftover paint
so I'm done with this one. So I will, uh, for, I will take it in and then scrape up the paint and then be back for the third one. All right, that one was a little harder. Okay, last canvas um, of this one. So let's go ahead and put the white on first. All right, let me paint my sides here. And I, you gotta be careful, my canvas isn't very far off of the mat. And if I touch my white um, brush to that the puppy pad, I'm gonna get some of that gray on there and I don't want any of that gray. So you just gotta be really careful as you do it if you've already used a puppy pad underneath um, or you've got something else underneath here. So i am just gotta be really, really careful. I don't want to get any gray in it until I'm ready. Hi, kitty. Until I'm ready um, to add the gray. So, that. And I just did what I said not to do. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do? Is that what they say? <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's do the Payne's Gray again. This is the last one. Woo woo. Let's go ahead and brush my Payne's Gray. And the same thing with this one, there is some white down here, so if I'm not careful, I'm going to be getting some white um, in my Payne's Gray brush. Looks good over here. Let me come to that side. Let's see what it looks like over there. Not too bad. Need to get a little bit down here. There we go. Okay. So let's pour. Yay! Hopefully I've got enough flooding paint. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm, I'm not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scrape this whole thing. I'm not going to use it. And then I'll redo it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll show you that at the end. I'll have to make some more paint up and all that stuff. So um, I'm going to get on to my next project for today, but I'll, I'm going to scrape this, let it dry and then um, get back to it. All right. <laughs> Bye for now. Okay, so I made some more paint. This is number three, canvas number three. I scraped this one. And um, I just did a single coat of white around the sides and then paints gray around the sides and then also on top. So that way we could get this, um, so that way it kind of hides all the stuff underneath. So anyway, let's hope that this works because I don't wanna waste any more paint. I didn't waste it, I actually used it on a, another project that I have, but you know. Okay, so last time we did it where I had the white going into, or the gray going into the white, so I'm gonna do it this way, so in case I spill. I shouldn't say spill, but splatter. Like that, like all that, dog on it. Okay. All right, now let's get the white, but I'm gonna wipe that off best that I can, anyway. At least that it's not puddles. Okay. So let's do, again, the same order. So let's do silver. Black, we'll just go right down the middle like we did last time. Not very much of it at all. Okay. This is the space gray. This is the titanium white. And this is the silver one more time. Put these off to the side. <clears throat> Flood this here, <clears throat> flood this here, okay, these off to the side because I'm going to probably need some more later.
Okay, I'm not like ecstatic on it, but I'm not like mad about it. It actually looks better than the last one did, so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it. And uh, hopefully it turns out really good. So you never know, I wanna see what it looks like when it's dried. All right. Okay, so we'll see what it looks like when it's dry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I do love paints gray and white, so I may have to do another one just with those two colors. All right, bye for now. Okay, well, it's okay, but I didn't like it um, when I put it next to the other two. So I'm gonna re-pour over it. I'm gonna have it at fast speed, but I will slow it down once we get to the Dutch pour portion of it. And my husband is watching a football game, so I'm going to talk over top of the video as well. All right, well, I'll talk you through it in just a few seconds. Okay, so let's start with the silver again, right down the middle, kind of wiggle it. Oops, forgot to <laughs> turn open up the top. Oh boy. All right, so there's the silver, the Arteza silver. Here's the titanium white. The permanent black, just a little bit. Here's the space gray. It, it, it's just been a process to get it here. The first one was really good. The second one took a little bit more time. And this third one just, it, um, yeah, a lot of work. Okay, so here we go. Let's add a little bit more white. Let's add a little bit more Payne's Gray. Flooding the paint. Oh, put a little bit Payne's Gray inside there too. Let's just do a little bit more white inside there too. <laughs> Let's just get a lot of paint in there. <laughs> All right, let's flood the paint. So let's put the white into the color and put the paint's gray into, uh, I do that all the time, I splatter. I love this color combination. With Dutch pours, the simpler, the better, honestly. Keep it very minimal. Try not to blow too much because when you start doing that, the paints kind of blend together and they make kind of a muddier look and you don't want that. It just needs to be simple. Just use your fingers or like a paper towel, add a little bit more paint to get some of the, you know, like I'm, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get some of that paint gray that kind of came over there, just kind of splattered and making it white, much more empty space. Just makes it look prettier, more simple.
I know this video is a little bit longer, so I appreciate you staying on and watching it through, but I wanted to show you all three of them and the process to get there. This is probably one of my favorite triptychs that I've done in a long time and one of my ultimate favorite Dutch pours. So thanks for joining me today. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.